folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So, folks, today's video is on a blank X Lite screen, a blank layout. And what I want to do today is kind of walk you through maybe building a basic layout. But some of the functionalities in the setup tab uh, you really don't use unless you're building your layout. Uh, and, and so I wanted to kind of dedicate this, this video to those who are just getting started, but not only that, but also for the folks who have already started, who may not know some of these secrets exist or are available in x -Lite. So before we get into that, this video is brought to you today by the PPD Sequence Club. Join the Sequence Club and with your monthly membership subscription, you'll receive four presets. You'll also get free uh, one X Lite sequence included with your with your uh, membership, as well as those preset effects work great with the kaleidoscope and the warp effect. You also get access to the uh, monthly vendor specials, and the vendors that have jumped on board with us are uh, vendors such as Boscoyo Studios, Wired Watts, Crockett Fantasia Lights, Pixel Sequencing, Scott LED, Cloutier Christmas Controller Builds, and more. So, if you join the club, you get some awesome stuff. Please consider supporting us at Pixel Pro Displays by joining the membership. So let's go ahead and get on with the kind of demo here. So I'm, I don't want to build like a whole display, but I want to kind of walk through some of the functionalities of some of these uh, models that are in x -Lite. So to get started with, let's uh, go ahead and click on, this is the Create New Polyline. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to uh, do the polyline. I'm going to kind of do my own home layout because that's what's kind of stuck in my head um, because it's real simple. It's a basic, uh, a basic roof outline. So we'll start. We'll just create a line. We'll go across. I have a peak in the middle. I come down, peak in the middle, and bam. There's my upper roof line. Now, what happens with a polyline is you get kind of stuck. You don't know what to do with the end of it. I've got to the end of it. You just hit the escape button. Bam. Gone. So now... Uh, what we can do is we can kind of update and fix this so that it matches more of what my house kind of looks like. Does it look like this? Is it more this way? Or, you know, so the polyline is nice to get started with, but it has functionality that you can adjust things so that it is much more uh, adept to your home. Uh, we can also come over here. I know I use 100 nodes over my entire roof line. I can also be specific and I can say, uh, let's go individual segments. I can click on the individual segments, hit the plus sign over here, and I can go 25. Oops, and I don't know why this is a bug in X Lights. Uh, 25, and every time you have to hit the plus button, 25, and hit the plus button again because it closes 25. Bam. So now it shows there's 25 per segment there. That's how I have my house layout set up, um, and it's it's uh, it's perfect. Perfect. You know, it may not be exactly perfect, linear, and so forth, but it, it does a good good representation. So that's the polyline. You can change and edit and so forth. Let's go in and create a single straight line. So if we grab the, uh, click on one time the create new single line, I'm just going to create a single line. Bam. Just like that. Now, guess what? That is my single line. It has 100 pixels on it. Bam. Too easy, right? Let's create my window frames because I have five windows that go across the uh, across the house here. Now, I've been doing this for oh, 12 years now, um, and animated lights have been in my house. You know, I've been running an animated display for this long, so I have all of these kind of stuck in my head because I know how they are, but if I build my... Uh, window frames that's that's this window frame tool right here this is create new window frame i clicked on it once and what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit it the way that i would edit my own window frames so from top to bottom i have 15 this is the left and right from top to bottom i have 15 pixels tall and then from left to right i have seven and i have seven whoops not 17 and now i'm just going to stretch this out now, a lot of you will be saying, wow, you only have like, what is that, 40, 42, 42, 43, 44 pixels per window frame. And the answer is yes. My window frame spacing is at four inch spacing, and it looks just fine. I'm happy with it. 
And I pre-drilled my holes in PVC, so I'm probably not going to change it anytime soon to make it like a 50 string or anything. So uh, with that being said, now here's another functionality that we're going to use. We're going to copy and we're going to paste. So I'm going to right here, I'm going to leave this here because I have four windows that are identical to this. I'm going to hit the control C, control and lowercase C. And I'm going to now move this. I'm going to offset this and I'm going to hit control V and paste and see how it's offset there. If I didn't move the first one, it would show up directly in that location. So it would look like this control V. So now it, now it's, it's kind of in the same place. So control Z control Z that just took it away. But you can see that if you don't move it slightly, but this may be in a fix in future releases of X lights. Right now we're currently in March 19th, dot uh, 2016 of 2019's releases. So now I've got two windows. Now my middle window here is a little different. It is a little different. It is a little different. This probably comes over here a little bit more. And this probably comes over here a little bit more. But I have a smaller window. So I'm going to go ahead and select my smaller window, or my window tool. I'm going to create, click, and drag. And I'm going to put my window there. And I'm pretty sure this was 8 across the top, 8 across the bottom, and 7 up the sides. Little itty-bitty tiny window. But it does the job, right? You know, hey. And once again, it's four inch spacing. It works great. So now I've got window one. You can see the names, window frame one, window frame two, window frame three. Now I'm gonna copy this one. Oh, you can't right click and copy. You have to hit control C. And now I'm gonna slightly move this one, control V. And there we go. And we'll go ahead and control V again. And there's our next one, control V. And now we've got a couple interesting things. I'm going to move this up out of the way because I'm going to show you yet another functionality here in X Lights that will help you kind of organize your uh, your display a little bit. So let's let's grab this window, this lower roof line here, and is it level? And it's kind of hard to see if it's level or not. Let's move this down and let's let's select all of the models that we've got so far we're going to not align but we're going to align them well we, we are actually going to align we're going to align them to the bottom of this selected one here so that they're all level bottom bam so now they should be on a level plane and this will tell us if our straight line here is it actually a straight line and it's not so what we can do here is we can kind of drag it up to make it just a little bit more level we can zoom in now so that's pretty cool and i just did that on my scroll wheel on the mouse so here i'm looking at the left hand side let's let's go over here and look uh so if i look at this i can see i'm kind of still up too high let's let's kind of move this so that it's more in line so that's a little bit better kind of definition you can kind of use this as a ruler now because now you can see if everything else is straight so is this roof line straight probably not I could go make adjustments and make it look much more pretty so here is my upper roof line here's my lower roof line we've got um, our windows in place and we use the alignment tool uh, now what I can do whoops now you can see I've got this model that's here but if I click again what happens what happens if I click here? I'm clicking either this model up here and I accidentally grab it. So let's show you the next functionality, which I think is really cool. And that is the copy or the click and drag. And what we can do is we can lock everything that we have uh, selected. We can lock it. There we go. Whoops. Let me zoom out a little bit. We can click and drag, and now we can do what we call, which is lock it. We can lock this in place, and now if we accidentally grab something, we're not going to move it. So we've got these kind of in place, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this, and I'm going to move this down. So now I'm safely not clicking on this one and moving it by click and drag accidentally. We can now do what's called distribute, and... I'm going to go ahead and select and we can bulk edit this and we can unlock all of these and we're going to do what I call distribute which you right click you select all of them we're going to because we're level on the bottom we can now distribute on a horizontal 
exactly equal spacing between all of these models. Now, is this is this perfect to my house? Maybe, maybe not, but it's close enough in this instance. We're just doing kind of a demo. I mean, if I wanted to, I could have a picture behind here, but this really helps make it much more neat for you. So folks, this is all the further I'm gonna go in this video today. We'll get into a little bit more in a future video, but I just wanted to thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those questions down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe so that you get all the content. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications when we do post a new video, because sometimes these videos don't go on the x -Lights group. They actually just go into our YouTube channel and then eventually end up on our PPD website. Now, if you really appreciate the fact that we do some of these tips and tricks videos and they help you, please, please consider uh, supporting us through the Pixel Pro Display Sequence Club membership program. You do get a lot of benefits from it, but even if you don't care about the benefits and you appreciate the fact that we go through all of this uh, learning and teaching and so forth, then consider becoming a subscribing member to help support us. So thank you very much for joining us, folks. We will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>